This is going to be the most revolutionary video that you watch on taking commissions on Roblox. I'll reveal a process that will get you more commissions than ever before and lead to more Robux in your pocket than you've ever experienced. So make sure to stay to the end if you want to learn the secrets to truly earning the most Robux possible. Let's start with step one. You need to increase your skills exponentially. So this should be pretty obvious, but you need to develop your skills before you take commissions and as you take commissions. The better your work, the more clients you'll gain and the more Robux you'll earn. So make sure to invest time in learning new techniques in whatever skill you have, such as scripting, building, modeling, GFX, or drawing. For your skill of choice, make sure that you are always searching for new ways to improve. Each piece of work you do, you should improve from the last one. This is going to lead you to becoming exponentially better at whatever you do, and that's why it is the first step. Although obvious, it is essential. Second step, output your work to social channels. So the next step is to showcase your work on places such as Twitter and YouTube, as well as the Roblox Talent Hub and Discord servers. Now, the best out of all of these for taking commissions is by far Twitter. Twitter is where most professional developers are and therefore where you'll get the most high paying commissions and the least scammy offers. The more posts that you have, the more credible that you will appear to new people people who might want to commission you. So you need to push this content out as often as possible and as fast as possible so that you can reach the most clients and appear the most trustworthy. And also to prove that you're really good at what you do. Also, you should be networking and building up connections in the Roblox RTC or Roblox Twitter community. And this will present you with new opportunities to work with more people and just make friends and develop your skills even further. The more connections, the better your skills and the more commissions you're going to get. So social medias are a crucial aspect and need to make sure that you're outputting stuff all the time very quickly, but don't confuse that with quality. You can still post quality stuff. Just post it as quickly as you can possibly get it out and it will help you because social media moves fast and you need to gain as much attention as possible over competitors. The third step is to build trust and attention and you need to present yourself confidently. So confidence is key. You need to show everybody that you know what you're talking about and you're passionate about what you do. You also need to show that you are confident in your abilities to get commissions done on time and just be a great person to work with. In fact, it may even help you to be overly confident. Many people say, oh, I'm an aspiring developer, but really you should just say you're, you're a developer because it's not going to harm you to really give yourself credit and maybe give yourself extra credit. It's not going to harm you and it's just going to mean that you need to make sure that you're following through with everything that you say you're going to do, which is very important to building trust, continuing to build that attention that you need. Now, you also need to be fairly professional. Now, I know that the RTC can be kind of unprofessional sometimes. And hey, it's okay to have these fun conversations. But whenever you're talking about your work or talking about clients or other people you've worked with, you should try to be professional because it's going to, again, make you appear more competent in your work. You're going to appear as somebody who has their stuff together. If you maintain a great brand like this, you're surely going to be seen as a great person to work with, and it's going to continue to build up that trust. All right, so you're building trust and attention. Step four, you need to make it as easy as possible for people to contact you and also as easy as possible for people to pay you and make orders. So to make sure that people who want to work with you can easily reach you, you need to optimize every detail of your online profiles to be as easy as possible for people to contact you. I know that whenever I'm hiring developers for a project, if it's hard to contact them, if I can't find their Discord or I can't find a way to DM them, I might not even commission them at all. So think about all the lost commissions you could have if it's not easy for you to contact. This is a mistake I see a lot of people make. So to fix this, you need to make sure that your DMs are open on all platforms. Make sure that you list your Discord where you can and in every post that you are talking about your work that you've done, make sure that you include your Discord and 
or Twitter DMs in it. This is called a CTA or a call to action. A call to action basically is telling people to take action. It is inviting them to do something such as send you a DM on Twitter, send you a DM on Discord, and you need call to actions in all your posts. An example would be if you're interested in getting a build like this, make sure to DM me on Discord. SmartyRBX hashtag 5181 for me. So what have we done there? We've gone ahead and told them that if they're interested, if they're interested, they can go ahead and DM us. So saying this, they're going to be much more likely to do it if we didn't include that. You need to make it as easy as possible. You need to pave a golden bridge for people to contact you. This is crucial. And for pay, it's exactly the same way. You should absolutely list out your pricing and if you have any tiers such as a small medium high order this goes further on making it easy for your clients to contact you and make an order for example if i see your work and i see that you don't list your prices that means there's an extra step for me to go ahead and hire you i have to ask you what your prices are if you just listed them out it'd be much easier and much more straightforward for me to commission you so keep that in mind you need to list your prices out your contact information and it's going to be much easier for people to contact you and make an order therefore making you get orders fast and making sure that you don't miss any potential customers because it was too hard to dm you there's millions of people out there and you want to make it easy for them to choose you over all those other people another part of making it easy for people to contact you is responding quickly and professionally so that things are kept straightforward and so that they trust you even more and will continue to want to work with you because if you're slow to respond or you're improfessional you're not going to seem like somebody who can get the work done when it comes to finishing the commission all right so you're getting really far into this you should be taking notes and you should be really diving deep into this process and really seeing how this is going to be revolutionary to you if you're taking commissions. You're going to build up a lot more trust, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. So keep watching till the end if you want to know this full process and get tons of commissions and get them faster. Step five is to price your work high and build your reputation to a point where people will pay that price. When pricing your work, you really need to look at what other people are charging and consider, you know, your experience, the quality of how your work stacks up against theirs, and you need to price around a similar amount, but having higher prices even than people with similar skills is going to make you look like somebody who has a better product, even if your builds are exactly the same quality. So price your builds high and try to meet that expectation as best you can. And it makes it look like you value yourself. Many people, they try to say, oh, my commissions are the cheapest, so you got to buy from me. Well, that's not really a good selling point to have because someone else can always be cheaper. There might even be someone else doing it for free. So you got to price your work high and don't market on the fact that your work is cheap. That's literally saying that it's low quality. So pricing high, even though it might be harder to get a commissions initially, it's going to really help you building that long term trust and proving that your work is at least valuable to you. Now, some people might have different budgets, and that's okay. You can absolutely negotiate in DMs if someone wants to pay a little less, but make sure to stay firm. And you can also consider offering tiered pricing, as we kind of talked about earlier. You can have different levels of commissions, and you can charge different amounts for each one. So, for example, I could charge you 10,000 Robux for a 10,000 stud map, 50,000 Robux for a 50,000 stud map. So, you can have different tiers to accommodate different people's needs and different people's budgets. Stay Step six, do promotions and even consider taking free work to get volume in your examples and portfolio. So you need to have a strategy to this, but offering promotions or free work can really boost the amount of stuff that you've made, especially when you start, when it's hard to get commissions, and it can make people insanely happy with you. You might give them something really good and they'll be like, bro, I have to pay for this. This is so good. Well, that right there is a great client to have because now they really trust you for doing that free work and they're really going to want to work with you and there's something called reciprocity that everyone has if you get something for free you feel like you naturally have to give back that's just a normal human brain type thing so you're gonna get more people 
just wanting to order from you more out of reciprocity. That's also going to give you more people referring you to other people. They're going to be insanely happy with you and they're going to go ahead and refer you to more people. Now, an additional tip is to message really popular developers and really successful people and offer them free work. If you do this, you're going to build up insane opportunities for yourself, especially if you do a good job. They're going to like you a lot. Now, make sure you don't take on too big of a project for free, but something small is going to be great. I recommend making a specific offer like, for example, I'll build you four buildings for free and if you like those you can go ahead and pay me X amount for more all right step seven get testimonials then continually push them so testimonials if you don't know what that is it's basically a review of your work so the more testimonials you can get especially public ones that you can retweet on Twitter or take a screenshot of and post on your portfolio are really gonna help you because they give something called social proof it proves that other people have liked your offering and like your services that you provide therefore it's going to signal to other people that you're someone good to work with hey if someone else did it it's got to be good for me too right it's really going to build that up in their mind like you're going to come off as more trustworthy especially for someone more popular this is going to be really helpful in building up your reputation step eight market the result not whatever service you're offering so if you are promoting building right somebody might want your building because they want a build well actually the truth is they don't really want necessarily a build they want whatever outcome that build gives to their game that build is going to make their game look nice that build is going to make their game look creative so what you want to do is you want to say you want to say like making games look amazing with great build something like that now you're telling people that you're making games look amazing you're not just making builds which one sounds more interesting you know I'm making games look amazing or I'm just making builds see you can really stand out with this and most people don't do this so you really got to think about that market the result of your service not the service itself you really need all the advantages you can get and showing all of the unique aspects of what you offer is really gonna help in taking commissions on Roblox because there's more and more competition every day all right step nine focus your attention on Twitter but keep your discord and talent hub as open as possible and market frequently there too Twitter is by far the most powerful place to work and network with other developers because most developers are there and especially the top developers and you can really start to work with some high profile developers pretty quickly if you're active on the RTC. But you can still sometimes find great people to work with on Discord and the Talent Hub. However, you're going to get a lot more low quality offers on there, but it can be great when you're starting out. Just know there's more scams and more stuff to watch out for. Frequently marketing in all the Discord servers you can all over Twitter and and all over making sure that you have all your work on your portfolio on the talent hub is really going to help you links to all those below and if you want to head start on going ahead and getting more commissions you should go ahead and join my discord server smarty devs where we have over 4,000 members and we have open channels where you can post your portfolio and get commissions quickly this is going to be a great method but of course even though it's my discord server i'm still going to say twitter is probably better as you're going to get better clients but we do have some great people to work with in smarty devs and i know i've worked with some great people in there already on projects behind the scenes so it is worth it but commissions are just one way to make tons of robux if you want to learn all of the best methods on roblox on exactly how to earn robux click the video on screen where i go over every single one of the best methods to make robux right now and you're going to learn so much from this video so yeah see you there and thanks for watching